guys, it is Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday actually, not that that means anything to me, we don't even have cable here, I could really care less about the Super Bowl, but anyways guys, good weather today, as you can see from the sky, it's like 65 right now on February the 3rd, that is really warm for this time of year, it's supposed to be just as nice tomorrow, but after Monday, starting Tuesday, seven days of rain, watch where I'm walking here. Let me show you guys this. I'm going to show you this in the last video. The pine that came in yesterday. We got white pine on the front and yellow pine on the back. Some nice stuff right there. A farmer that lives about a mile down the road from here. He works part time at a golf course. And uh, these came down with the snowstorms we had recently. And he got them for free and brought them over here for us to saw. And uh, should get some nice lumber out of these. Uh, we're going to split it on halves, and uh, not familiar with that term, that's when somebody brings you timber, logs to your sawmill, and they just split the wood with you instead of paying you to saw it. And it's really a better outcome for you, because I could sell half this wood if I was going to sell it for a lot more than I could just be paid to saw it up. But I'll probably saw this uh, yellow pine right here into one by sixes, and probably the white pine also, because... I need to finish the siding for the kiln. Got this side done in oak, and I'll just use pine for the rest of it, and we're gonna paint it anyway, so it don't really matter what species is on it. Here's a cameo of the well-fed cat, as some of you subscribers call her. She follows me like the dog up here. Good cat, though. But anyways, guys, in a few days, we'll throw these pines on the mill, see how it goes. While we're out here, I have to mention this also, we got the gravel, and you guys have been giving me a hard time in the comments whenever it shows it's sitting in this crate, but I think this week I'll finally get around to putting it on the tractor, and I appreciate the input on the hose size. I got my ends bought the other day, I think around the first of the week I'll go get the hoses made up, and we'll get this thing going. I'm really looking forward to using this thing. It's a Titan gravel, 72 inches long. Got some logs to move around. Those free ones I got about two weeks ago from the log yard down in Rogersville. I got three of them in my truck bed still and two on the trailer. I'm gonna try to get those out today and go ahead and put one or two of them on the sawmill. But uh, before we do that, I'll show you guys a new tool that I got the other day. And uh, what I'm doing here is greasing the tractor. I like to grease all my equipment every 10 hours if I can remember to do so, or at least every time I fill up the tank with fuel. But all my life, the only grease guns I've ever used are the ones you have to hand pump, and they are aggravating. I can't stand them. They leak everywhere when you're not using them. You know, you gotta purge them constantly. It just, it takes forever. It's annoying. I, don't, I just never have liked them. And I was talking to my buddy Jim the other day over on the Tradesman's Channel, and he recommended something that they use for his work, and uh, he works on boilers for a living. And I didn't know this thing even existed. But what we got here is a DeWalt battery power grease gun, 20 volt. And uh, I bought this grease gun, it wasn't a gift to me. I don't know anybody at DeWalt, there's nobody sponsoring this video or nothing like that. But uh, I've used it three times now, and I just got it about a week ago, and man, I sure like it. And I know this ain't like a proper review because I've not had it for a long time, but it sure does work good. And it takes a lot of the effort and the time out of those old grease guns. And when you hang this thing up for the day, it doesn't leak grease out of the fitting. But it sure works good. I'm going to share it with you guys. They're a little over $200. They're on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. And that's one of those affiliate links. If you guys buy one, I get like 6% or something like that. And that goes toward the channel, buying these cameras and all these lenses. But uh, I always show things on this channel that work really well. And this thing works good so far. Now, a month from now, I may show up and say this thing's junk. But I doubt I will, based on the reviews that I read before I got it in the videos. It's a pretty good tool. And uh, I mentioned how handy it is. Oh, you guys, how good it works. You just put this in the Zert fitting and push the trigger and there's your grease. I mean, it's as simple as that.
in the way. 